Welcome back to Valhalla. I have made some updates, some improvements to the part list for the Weekend Core XY 3D printer and I want to show you what the news are. If you have a 3D printer, you might want to watch this even though you're not building the Weeking or the Wee Baby. The parts I'm going to talk about are all up to date, interesting parts, and they are proven to be good, so you can buy them at a recommended reseller. There will be a link to a list of all these parts, so you can buy them to upgrade your own 3D printer or if you're building from scratch. So let's get started. I usually have an answer to the question, but if you click the link down below, you will come to the repository for the Weeking and the Weeking Core XY part order list. This list has all the links you need to buy any of the parts I'm going to talk about in this video. I recommend that you download this so you have it on your computer. For those of you wanting to build the Weeking, you can buy a complete kit with all the hardware, uh, also the fasteners included at Maker Supplies. The price is currently 346 US dollars, no taxes or shipping included. If you do want to buy V slots yourself, there are links here. Uh, remember that one of them needs to be cut to 480 millimeters so you need to order one cut or you can cut them yourself of course i'm not going to go through all these links for the frame parts i'm going to jump to the component parts for the weekend at 380 by 340 build area we need a good plate. This plate is $100 alone. If you do think this is too expensive, of course you can order something else yourself. This is however the best option. It's cast aluminum. It will never warp or bend. It will keep the temperature stable and also your part stable as you are printing. If you are looking for other options, at least go for a minimum of six millimeter aluminum. The controller has been upgraded from the 8-bit MKS Gen L to the SKR 1.4. If you want to go for the turbo, then you can do that. I have not tested the turbo. I don't know if it compiles with Marlin 2, but um, you can choose with this link, you can choose one or the other. As the LCD controller, I gone with the TFT24, which is a touch screen, but also has a 12864 option. If you want to use the knob, Trinamic drivers, 2209, four of those, the same optical sensors as before, the same extruder as before. What I've done is I added some options to the right here. If you want to have the best options, then you can, of course, you can go for a Duet Wi-Fi, a Panel Duet, original Titan, also the original E3D V6. So there are links for those as well. They are more expensive. Uh, the layer fan is the same. The pulleys are the same. Belt is uh, updated for a uh, better belt. So there's a new link for that. There's a clone E3D V6 type hotend here. There's no changes to the power supply. I've been using those for a long time there never any problems i added a fuse very important uh, safety feature we need when we have an ac heated bed we need a thermal fuse which breaks the current if the uh, solid state really fails i'm gonna make a video on how how to add to the system same power switch same probe also there's a link to the original uh, bl touch here keypad is the same as before solid state relay is the same so i updated the stepper motor link to include five steppers i also updated the worm gear you can also go for the high end worm gear which is a link to the right here and that's everything for this uh, new bill of materials for the weekend it was a long overdue uh, task to update this but now it's there it's up on github i will also update the part list on thingiverse and my mini factory as well but uh, if you want the latest iteration always go to github if you don't know the weekend from the before there's a link down below to the homepage with all the information about this printer and here are some uh, Photos of builds from around the globe. They are been building all over the world. Remember to subscribe. That's everything from Valhalla right now. And uh, see you soon.